Right, hey guys, Drift Grudge Leo. Today we're back with Banana Fish Episode 2. I just want to say a massive thank you for the response on Episode 1. Uh, you were all really nice. I really enjoyed reading through all your comments. And i got to say, Episode 1 was a fantastic start to a show. Pretty much just from the glance of the episode, you sort of got an idea what all the characters and roles are going to play. Got his story going off pretty much straight away with the banana fish drug. I can already tell the other younger cop is going to be obviously Ash's love interest for the show. I'm really interested to see where this show goes. That pace in that first episode was really good, so it's got me hard to say. I wonder where how well Pizza Show is going to be overall, but yeah, as I said, I've heard nothing but good things. He was all very nice response in the comments, no spoilers or anything either. But yeah, I'm good to just go see how this anime is going to go. I'm looking forward to see where Ash's character is going to go, and yeah, just dive into more into this series, guys. So if you enjoyed the reaction, leave a like, subscribe, and let's jump straight into this. Karen with that yeah, soundtrack. I love the hair designs. Um, also, guys, um, I'm just going to add this in. Um, I will be doing the intro reaction in a separate video for copyright reasons. So, yeah, click the link below if you want to click on it. <laughs> Sit down. Mate, this guy's so sorry. Is he going to try and fuck him, really? Alright, he's just taking his belt off. I thought he was trying to fuck him then. His t-shirt. Little bird. Oh, plus five relationship. I love how in episode two we've already got stakes. God, is this guy going to be that easy to play? Mate, Ash is using any weapon he can at this point. Don't blame him. Mate, if you should use the guy to get that one up on him, fucking yeah. <laughs> what did you expect, mate? Of course you were going to get savaged. <laughs> I know I just walks over him. Deserves that prick. It was that easy to get out. God, that guy was stupid. Hey, I love PV shots. I'm always a sucker for them. That crap. I gotta get the big weapons together, boy. I love how motivated the kid's getting. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's a better idea. I thought he was getting ready to fight. Mate, man, come up with the sweet ideas. Mate, I respect the balls. Made the music in this show. What oh, boy! Oh, that looks sick. <laughs> Mate, what a guy. <laughs> oh, he's got glass sticking out of his arm. Ah, shit, man. What a bro. I think that was the best solution there for him. Hmm. Told. This made just, this is just trying to make me excited with point of view shots. I forgot to say. Oh, hey, got free. Murder of someone. I love how both the main characters get quite a cool head there. Some specs to them. I'd be shitting my bricks if I was in that situation. I won't say me too hard on yourself here. Yeah? I'm doing the big work. You best be fast, guys. Hey, respect to Ash figure everyone from everyone but yourself here. Yeah? Mate, I love how they should have got the fight in this show. It's quite fun. Oh, sit down! <laughs> Mate, this squad. Oh, now you got the cops as well. Boy. Oh, 
I love how they're putting grudges as well already in the show, so we know later on it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're shooting a kid! Did they just kill a kid first? I did not expect that. Well, that set the tone for the show. Bloody hell. I can't believe they just killed the kid off like that. Oh, fuck. He got wrecked. Is Skip actually dead? I don't see him surviving that. I hope he does. Fuck. Like I said, when a show does stuff like that, though, it does definitely set a very a tone for the show, and I always, I can always respect that when a show takes the balls to do that. I can't, I still can't believe they killed off a kid like that. Bloody hell! I assume he's dead for now. Hopefully, he's all right. But two shot, we well, got a shot though. Doesn't look likely. <laughs> Point of view shot, boys. <laughs> I'm a sucker for it. Oh, he's dead. You killed him. Why is already so many questions so quickly? Wow. Oh no, he's gonna get blamed. Fuck. Mate, this show is setting up a crazy amount. The pacing's insane. But there's a motive, so it looks like it's all against him already. Oh, and a corrupt cop, let me guess. Bet he's on the payroll. Mate, what sort of world has this guy been living in? Oh, the motive. No wonder he treated him like sh My god. And then the cops just bringing that up. Mate, this show has got so much depth already. This just reminds me of, like Black Lagoon. Like, it's just like. This is giving me like a massive Black Lagoon feel, just not as Black Lagoon comes across a bit more cheesier in the first couple episodes, where it's dead serious from the start. You didn't even kill him either, that's the thing. Mate, you can respect Ash's fucking calmness to even be around someone like that. I know he ain't really got a choice because it's sort of weird as him, but still. Oh, the music is fire. Mate, this show's not giving you... It don't feel too fast-paced either, but it doesn't feel like it's giving you a break. It just keeps going. いやんがいいぞ。そんなものなんの役に立つ。そんなものなんの役に立つ。そんなものなんの役に立つ。そんなものなんの役に立つ。そんなものなんの役に立つ。そんなものなんの役に立つ。そんなものなんの役に立つ
Yeah, it's true. It's like, like technically Ash has been caged since he's a kid. Don't mean he can't fly later. That cop. At the end of the episode, already fucking out. This episode. It's already setting up the next bit already. Now if you put in prison where he's basically gonna die. I'm gonna try and kill him, obviously. That episode did not even give you room to breathe. That was that was perfect pace. That I'm gonna keep going on about pacing in this show, but this is godlike. Like my god, I thought Demon Slayer was good. Like Demon Slayer is really well paced, but this show just takes it to really perfection level of pacing for a show. To be fair, like it didn't feel too fast. Yes, it did throw a lot at you, but that was the point because it's it's trying to overwhelm you to get you. But it's not. Fe but don't feel that way. You still know what's going on. It's still very clear. It's just very straight to the point. Move plot forward. That was really good. Like I can't get over how like. Yeah, just like no room to breathe, and it just never. It does a really good job not to make this really over dramatic. I've watched a lot of anime and a lot of TV shows in my life, and they can make stuff like this, like this plotline, really over dramatic, where the show just moves forward. It knows it's happened. It's been a very realistic way of handling it, especially for an anime. As realistic and anime don't normally go hand in hand at all. Just like the fit when they killed Skip. Very sad, very emotional, but it just did it quick and it just shows the horror of it. It's just like the guy turned around, shot him in the stomach. Skip dies crying. He's not going to have time to have like an emo he's been He's a kid who's just been shot. There's no way he'd have like time to have a dramatic speech and die. Whereas most shows would technically do that. They would do that whole thing. Or like, but it was just like you saw him crying. It's just like this sad moment. I like just seeing Skip die. And then him just chasing after after the guy to go kill him. And then, it, then it's like, oh, not, we're not going to stop there. We're going to get there. And the guy's already dead. And then, they, and then they're like, already put in there. You're like, oh, he can't be framed. Too like, they've got to have more evidence than that. But there's already a motive because they skip. And then it's then they, then they bring in the cop that's on the blatantly on the payroll, brings in a child pornography, shows that Ash was being fucked by that guy when he was like ten or eleven. Therefore, layering it now, there's more evidence that he did do it. Then they send him, then the cop sends him from a prison away from the cops that are like sort of investigating who seem like really genuine genuine cops. Move them, get, try and get him away from them. Put him straight in prison, hire people to kill him and try and keep him quiet. All in like the matter of like 10 minutes. Like that was even like five minutes to be fair, five, 10 minutes. That's fantastic pacing. Yeah, very sad to see Skip go out like that. That's just like, a, it just, that just, just, but the thing is that sets the tone for the show. Tone, if you didn't know for me, is a massive deal. I like it when a tone, if it sets tone seriously, you can still have comedy, but as long as you don't mix comedy into the serious moments, but you can still have it, if you know what I mean. Um, but it's, but like I said, you know when you watch a show and then they keep say for purposes of only say this is the show and it's going they keep saying it's a ma it's mass disaster like oh thousands are gonna die but no you never see anyone die and it's all like is there actually any stakes there but say you start seeing those so when we can't just see that then you're just like oh shit this shit's real we need to stop this you get more invested the way they dealt with Skip it just means they just killed a kid in the second episode of the show it means that this tonally this show is gonna go places or it's gonna be very grown up and adult this sort of show is your real one where i say like it's got it's t tackling that it's being it's be this is a mature story like i find Madrid berserks is a mature story vagabond's a mature story i think this is up there with mature stories and i like that and um, don't get me wrong I, I, I think any age can enjoy these sort of shows but you know what i mean when it would you know when a story feels mature it's not being edgy or teeny it's like it's mature um and i feel like this show is going to nail that i don't know that's such a fantastic episode I'm very surprised at how good that second episode. I thought the first episode was really good. Also, I've not even touched on the, like the relationship between the two mains. I like the chemistry already. I like the more like pure-hearted, the kid who's been not caged up in his life, been free, able to go uni or was it college or something, join a police force, live quiet and all right. And you got Ash, who's that caged sort of bird where he's been this since he was a kid. Blatantly, for fuck's sake, he's being fucked by that fat dude when he was ten or eleven. It just it shows someone who's caged, someone who's free. And yeah, seeing them in trap, but then seeing that guy like just jump over the edge, and like when I thought he'd be a big pussy, he wasn't. He jumped over the edge of the wall, got help, did a smart, quick thinking decision on the spot, which was really good. And then you had Ash, who was like dead calm in all the situation, because he's been through all the shit as a child. Nothing comes as a surprise to him, and he's not. He's not. 
he knows if he has to use like his sexuality or something to get out of a situation he's not too stubborn or prideful where he won't do it <laughs> which is respectable in its own right because obviously clearly he's been through a lot can't wait to learn more about his character god i could talk about this episode for quite a while actually this is fucking that was a fantastic episode i'm generally surprised i i don't i don't know if you watch a lot of my videos i don't tend to overreact i tend to keep kind of try and keep calm analyze it because no one screams when they watch a show or to me some people do obviously but i like to keep it calm um and find a nice middle but yeah that episode it's just fantastic that was really fucking good I'm really sad now that people skip out on it's just because it's got a BL tag. It's like fucking this just seems like I don't even care about that. I think that's an interesting plot point they can probably use later. But the fact is, yeah, just in the second episode it hit so much. I bet if you show the second episode to most people who refuse to watch it, I think they'd fall in love with this show. That was a really good episode. Mate. I'm actually enjoying it. I'm actually looking forward to jumping to episode three. Mate, I can't believe Skip died though. Fuck, I did not expect that. That's definitely set the tone for the show. Absolutely fantastic. I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. I've not been this shocked when I watched episode two. Like I say, that pacing was too much. That was so good. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. I've seen an